indigenous seed is very important because it plays a very crucial and critical role for food and nutrition at household level, even at national level. But the policies that we have now, the decisions that are being made are pushing this seed away. Most of the time, the policies that are made impact the farmers in the negative way because these policies are pushed by big multinational companies. The issue here is not about feeding the world. The issue here is about making profit. The first step to making that profit is the seed. When farmers are dependent on this seed, then other inputs will follow. It is the fertilizers, it is the herbicides, and it is the insecticide to control all the other pests that might come because of the kind of food system that we are adopting. The policy makers only get a view from a very small number of people that are able to go to them. The majority of the farmers cannot come to the policy makers. So it is therefore very important that the policy makers go to the farmers and they get confronted by the farmers. You look on important issues. We prioritize. Now, we don't need to prioritize between a commercial farmer and a small scale farmer. The majority of this country are made up of what? We are happy today you are listening to us. You are a listening ministry now for a better, for a change. And get our message to the government. The agenda of the farmers is to ensure that they have enough food for their families and for the generations that are going to come. The agenda for the farmers is that they protect the biodiversity that is in their communities. But the agenda of the few on the other side is that they make profit of these farmers. Taking away knowledge from the farmers, taking away the resource that the farmers have to just favor a few people. We really call for support for the indigenous seed that the farmers have continued to use from generations and generations that have come and have gone. We don't want this seed to disappear. We need to have this seed because it shapes the food and nutrition uh, security at the household level. Therefore, we need to ensure that farmers' voices are heard. And the only way that the farmers are going to be heard is to have dialogues like that where we take policymakers and farmers and bringing them in one space. We need to bring networks, organizations together. We even need to bring government in our spaces so that we share knowledge on how we're going to conserve our seed, how we're going to share seed, and how we prepare for the future that is coming. If we do not make a proper decision, we will harm the future and we will deny future generations a future that they're supposed to enjoy. Mm -hmm.